Hello, welcome to Premier Scene. I'm Claire Bueno, where tonight's burning question is, do you break the circle or do you make the ultimate sacrifice? We'll find out more at the UK premiere of Victim. Yeah. These guys are all victims of their environment, aren't they? Yeah, that, that's exactly it, really. You've sort of hit a nail on the head. I think, um, yeah, that, that's what we tried to do in, in, in the film, really. I, the idea started off that you would read a newspaper and it would just be a headline. And it might say, you know, but you never really know the, the, the stories behind it. And, you know, you might just go, look, this guy has done something wrong, but you don't know the reasons why he did that. And that's what this, this film was about, really. You know, you can be, if you're born in a certain area, you know, you can be a victim of just where you're born. You know, you go to a certain school, you know, so that, that's what the film tries to do. You know? And, and, and Mane, he's bullied really by his brother. So that, do you think that affects what he does to give him more control in his life? Yeah, 100 percent. Yeah, 100 percent. Mane, you know, he has this sort of... You know, brother and brother relationship. That's you know, it's not good really. But it goes on. There's loads of that's you know, that's another thing about the script. It's based on truth and realness, um, which is what I really like about it. And and these relationships go on, but they're not healthy and they're not good. And he's got this sort of brother that's constantly suppressing him. Um, and yeah, but it's not. I don't. Think it's just that. It's you know, it's, it's where he's brought up and you know, and just the options that he's not got. <laughs> Tyson's character, he's going through a lot and um, he's under pressure, he's a victim, he's a victim of his own upbringing, of his own circumstances, his, his own ignorance and yeah he, he manages to make it out, well he's not managing to make it out, he's trying to make it out but there's so many things dragging you back and I think there's so many young people out there who can relate to that. So. It's a film that is not only going to be enjoyable and a couple of laughs, you're also going to have something to think about after watching it. One of your lines, just very quickly, sorry, just one of your lines is it isn't about where you're coming from, it's about where you're going to end up. It's very poignant, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's coming from a quote. I remember someone said, like, um, don't allow the, the, the place you came from affect the place you end up. So just because you come from the ghetto or you come from, it doesn't mean you have to be ghetto. Or just because you come from like, like I didn't go to college and I didn't go to university, am I going to allow that to affect my outcome on life? So no, the answer is no. I can also achieve things. That's why just by me writing this film with that history and background and achieving this should be inspiration and motivation for a lot of young people watching it. What's going on, Black? Go on, see something. There is a big character arc with these these people in the end, aren't yeah. they? No, I just wanted to show, we just wanted to show that um, in the beginning a lot of things are just fun, you don't even know what you're doing, but then life takes a big step where you have to start realising and then you see the consequences of things that might happen. The, the other thing, that, a strong theme that seemed for, for me throughout the film is the importance of education. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think a lot of things happen because people aren't educated into certain things and they don't know any better. So that's why it happens. So we just wanted to show um, with a bit of education and people knowing they might make different options and they might take different routes. What are you going to do? Her character, her action, shall we say, changes the course of the film really, doesn't it? She does, yeah. She's, she, is, she is a pivotal, she's a pivotal movement within the film. Um, she's kind of the glue that sticks a lot of the friends together. And I think she sees herself like that. And um, I mean, I've got female friends like that. And sometimes I think, you know, your friends are your family at the same time. So she's definitely, definitely somebody like that within the film. Um, and then it sort of shows you how the dynamics of a group of friends can change just with the instruction of one person or one incident or something and everything can just go completely on its head. <laughs> I think what was interesting with her is that je je jealousy is such a, a negative force and did you see her being a, a jealous type? She quintessentially yes it's you know it is down to jealousy but I think it's more down to security and it's more down to just somebody coming into your world and, and you and it all being thrown off balance and what you do to survive that. Um, but yeah, I guess in a very sort of basic female, like there's another girl there, she's pretty, she's hot, like and she's family as well, which is the extra thing, you know. Um, it definitely throws that into the mix. I'm quitting the game. Listen to the way you talk. What is your problem? Let's watch out before my man gets you killed. You've got a chance to have a lot of fun with this part, haven't you? Yeah, it was a bit of a it was a bit of a mad one. Like Michael called me up. I'm good mates with Michael, and he just said, you know, can I can I come down, do a little cameo, and uh, he said, can I play a kebab, a kebab, a kebab shop owner? Like, and it, it sounded good, you know. I'm all about the comedy and all that, and yeah, they're mates, and I'll, I'll do anything I can to kind of help the help the scene grow. 
would say, I'd say because that they're new screenwriters as, as well as actors as well. Is, is it nice for you to be able to kind of use your notoriety as, a, as an actor to, to bring some gravitas to the film and raise its where? I was really blessed with with another hood. You know, we had a really good cast, and obviously Ashley and Michael, they're in the film. It was really weird. We were we they were making victim while we were doing another hood, and so. It was a really weird time because we were all kind of talking and everyone was making each other's films and so it was just a mutual thing, you know, you come in my film, I'll come in yours and it's a big family, man, it is, it is like that. Is it, is it great, just a, a, an enjoyable creative force where everybody's sharing ideas and pooling resources? Really? With this, I just kind of, you know, I, I went on set and just done my job, I'll be honest, I didn't have a, I was kind of so stressed out with making another hood at the time, I was just kind of, I went on set, yeah, I just, it was just learn my lines and, and come on in, I kind of let them get on with the rest of it, but... But, um, but no, you know, anything I can do to help the scene, it, it means a lot to me, yeah. Oh, I think you're ready for this one. I've got your money, all of it. Congratulations this evening on the, on the film. Thank you very much, yeah. We're, we're very proud to have it opening in the West End and, and opening on, on Friday in theatres across the country. It's, um, it's an amazing achievement for a, 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 what's essentially a micro-budget film, you know, self-funded. Um, via, via our company Pure and um, it's, it's amazing that we're able to open theatres right across the country, you know, fantastic. When you, when you as, as producers of the film, you, you must be thinking as well about how marketable it is before you start to invest in the project surely as well? Mm, to an extent, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, mean go on. Yeah, the story, the story, when we first got the script, the story reflected that it was a great story and we could definitely do something with it. And then it, it just ballooned from there on in through our contacts and our co-producer, Jason Mazza, and the two writers, Ashley and Michael, pulling resources and, and pulling in the, the, the cast, which, you know, is on commercially yeah. viable. I mean, we've got an amazing soundtrack in there that we've, we've managed to clear for... I mean, you know, shirt buttons, because we've got a background in music. Uh, Michael Maris, who, who's working with on it, has also got a, a background in music. So we was able to pull in favours. We pulled in so many favours from actors and friends and had people on set, you know, um, working for minimum wage just to get it done. So it was really, it was really pulling, pulling music out, a real labour of love. It was a film that we all wanted to get made and we're all very proud of now that it's coming out, you know. You're playing Charmaine. She's almost like the, the, uh, an extended member of the gang, isn't she? Yes, yeah, she is a bit of an extended member. She's friends with the girls and got a bit of a, a love interest in one of the bad boys. But um, yeah, she kind of gets sucked in more and more as the film goes on, yeah. And um, to, to me, the film as well is a great example about how people really do affect each other's lives, really. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. There's a lot of uh, sort of interconnectedness in this sort of how uh, Tia arriving has such a big impact on on the group dynamic and the little relationship that she ends up having with Tyson and yeah, how people coming in and out of each other's lives can have a big impact on everyone. Yeah, definitely. Well, what was there in particular that kind of um, that drew you to the script when you first read it? What resonated? Um, the fact that there was sort of a lot of uh, moments where you could see relationships in it. I really, really enjoyed the relationship between Tyson and Nyla, his little sister, and sort of that bro older brother looking after his sister and seeing that family life and how he'd sort of got drawn into that. And also the, the little romance as well, that was nice to see in there. It was, it was quite touching. It was not just a bit of a bedroom scene, though. It was really, really touching. I, I don't even think they kiss in this, but you could you could feel the love. <laughs> I think what was interesting is that the, 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 the three kind of lead characters, they're not particularly sympathetic in the first act. And yet by the end of the film we see a completely different side to them don't we yeah and I think that's kind of what Ashley and Michael wanted to write with this film so sort of see, show that even though people might do bad things not everyone is all bad so you get to see throughout the film how how someone might do bad things but still be a good person in some ways yeah this ain't about where you're coming from it's about where you're gonna end up so you're part of the gang really aren't yes. you yes I'm a naughty girl well, tell us more about that. Um, well, I play Yaren, and she's used to honey trap men, kind of lures them into provocative and vulnerable situations. Um, but she was fun to play, she's very feisty, and she has a great relationship with all the girls. She's quite jealous of um, Ashley Medeque's character when she first comes on the scene. So, yeah, and no, it was fun. Jealousy is actually quite a strong thread that goes through the, the female sort of uh, character arc, doesn't it? Really? Yeah, well, unfortunately, I think that happens with females in general, doesn't it? Um, um, which is sad, but true thing. And um, 
did, did you do you feel that the the film is really a, a film that's based on characters and relationships and how we all affect each other really yeah definitely yeah and there was a, a real sense of um, like through the, for the more main characters um, you really see their characters kind of come through and and yeah I just think you see that a lot oh!